start a new class. Check if everybody is ready to connect. See if they are connecting anytime soon. Guys, connect soon. Check it out. We are in the correct section. Yes, we are recording. We have our presentation ready. We have the platform ready and we are just waiting for the students to come to the class. Francisco.
Francisco, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm first. Yes, what's <laughs> today? So, how are you? Tell me. I have a relaxed day today, teacher. Okay, and tell me, did you finish the platform? Yes, teacher. I am finished. What was your score? You got a 100%? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, that's good. Cool. That's good cool because tomorrow is the deadline. Tomorrow midnight, we have to have it. Yes, Tuesday, um, I started for the platform. Okay. I was studying for the platform. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Look, there's Adonai. Thank you, Francisco. Adonai, good evening. How are you? Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. Ready to start our class. Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry for yesterday. I have some trouble with the, my connection. Yeah, the rain is affecting everybody. Yeah, in the Merliot City, it's so difficult in the, in the night to the internet connection. At night? At night, sorry, sorry, at night. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. So, Francisco just finished the platform. What about you? Did you finish already? Yeah, I'm finished. Old. A hundred? Yeah, I'm finished. Ooh. You got perfect score? Yeah, 100. Excellent, excellent. That's great. Gosh, guys, this course is too easy for you. <laughs> no, I'm learning, always a learning. Yeah, you know what? Whenever we practice and practice and practice, we learn something new. Yeah. That's the good thing of the practicing. And remember, learning English is a matter of practicing all the time yes and you need to practice and keep on because otherwise you forget the language that's yeah. what i do i mean i teach a class i watch videos i, I read in english that's good that helps me to get more vocabulary because you are always learning i get more vocabulary i understand more i think in english so all those little details Help me out because remember, in my case, I learned English, wow, more than 20 years ago. Wow. So to keep up, because remember that languages change, to, to keep up, para mantenerme, to keep up to date with modern English, I need to read, I need to watch movies, to watch TV, to talk to people. That way, I use new expressions i learn new expressions and i new vocabulary yes that's okay great. well thank you adonai okay thank you teacher janari good evening good evening teacher janari the platform finish no uh to, and this night i i i will finish tonight yes okay remember mm -hmm. you need you need minimum 80 percent 80 yes yes teacher i know and tomorrow midnight is the deadline it's in the, yes yes i know i know that teacher thank you if you got any question remember you can contact me anytime no problem okay teacher thank you no problem, no problem. I'm, <laughs> if you need to practice something remember there's always the explanation if you are not sure in one exercise, you can repeat mm -hmm. the exercise. Okay. Yes, actually, uh, I I repeat the lesson, the lesson, the lesson. Uh, if I I understand, but uh, in this case, I don't have problem. Okay, great, great. Thank you, mm -hmm. Thank you teacher. Sylvia, good evening. Uh, thank you. Um, good evening. I'm <laughs> fine, teacher. No, it's okay. working. You look tired today. You look like me. Um, yes, um, no, it's okay. Yeah. What is much andar en el transporte de la empresa? Oh, really? Yeah, it must be tiresome. And tell me, what about the platform, Sylvia? You finish? Yes, teacher. Everything? Yes. Okay, okay, good, good. Remember, 80% minimum. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
80% es el mínimo. ¿Ok? Eh, Llegaba hasta donde está el, el, el examen, ¿verdad? Hasta ahí era... Que yes, final que... exam. Yes, finish. Ok, ok. Mm. That's cool, because the platform generates for you a, a diploma, ¿no? El platform, la plataforma que le genera un diploma. So yes. you have it, we are good. Yes. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. That's great, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Ok. Hilda, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I Bye. Here and you hide. In the okay. Sorry? You hide from me. I hide you. I have you here in the plat in the in the screen and then went black. Really? Yeah, se me Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there. You. Hello, good <laughs> evening. How are you, Hilda? Fine. Uh, I'm good. I, I, I feel, I feel, I, how do you say, ya me siento un poco mejor. I feel better. I feel better with my, my love, with my. Yeah, for your family situation. Yeah, I because. I hear that. Because she, ha, she has the, the nana, um, second mother. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, it's very. She was. She was. Uh-huh. The second mother. Yeah. You know, it mm -hmm. takes time. It takes time. Yes. But I feel better. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. What about the platform, Hilda? Did you finish the platform? Uh, no, but uh, almost because I, for the lesson number four, you need, you need 12. Okay. 12. Remember that tomorrow midnight is the deadline. Okay. What uh, the unit? Only five units. Yes, five units. After the five units, you got the final exam. Okay. Uh, today finish. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, mm -hmm. Hilda. Okay. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm tired. Tired. Because traffic, heavy traffic. Yes. Yes. Horrible. It was a hard day for you. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, good, good. Did you finish yes. the platform, Vicky? Um, I, I start ex final exam. Final exam. Oh, ex final exam. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, if you want to check something, or perhaps even if you finish it, guys, if tomorrow you need something, I am going to go over, in the last class, I always go over the final exam, okay? So tomorrow okay. we are going to go over the final exam so we can check out some of oh, the okay. okay? I'm not mm -hmm. going, we are not going to solve it here in the class, but I'm going to show it to you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Vanessa, good evening, how are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Great, excellent. Tell me, Vanessa, you finished the platform? Yes, last Monday. Oh my gosh. Gee, almost everybody is finished. Okay, you got a hundred? Uh, you got a, uh, repeat, please. You got a hundred percent? I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I try, but mm, not them. Remember, you can repeat the exercise. Okay. You, you can do it then again. Pueden repetirlo. Okay. Okay. The system is going to get the five, the highest grade. Y el sistema va a absorber la nota más alta. And repeating is good practice. Okay. Okay. For that, repeating is good practice. If there's something that you are not feel so sure. You can repeat it, okay? Okay. If there's any question, you can contact me. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Vanessa. Roxana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm great. You're great. Oh, my gosh. I like that attitude. She says, I'm great. <laughs> okay. I'm great. <laughs> Tell me, you finished the platform? 
Um, I, I think um, you need five, ten, yeah. ya casi termino. <laughs> I almost finished. I almost finished. Remember, tomorrow midnight, it closes, okay? Yes, I, I, I hope uh, um, work today after yes. the class. Oh yeah, we finish early. We you have time. Terminamos okay. Time. okay, guys. Thank you, Rosana. Okay, guys. For today, we have a very interesting activity. Tomorrow we are going to make a general review, but today we are going to put into practice what we have been working with. If you remember, we've been working with the simple past, with the past of was, past of where, the did, and today we are going to work with the WH questions using them both. Hey, look, there's Angelica. Hello, Angelica, how are you? Angelica, hello, can you hear me? Perhaps no. What? Hello, teacher. Hello, Angelica. How are you tonight? <laughs> excellent, teacher. Excellent. Okay. I am asking everybody because it's part of my duty. Le estoy preguntando a todos porque es una obligación mía. Angelica, did you finish the platform? No, teacher. Tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow midnight is the deadline. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So, if you have any question, remember, you can contact me. Now, let's see. Thank you. No, thanks to you. As I was telling you, today, today is going to be more like a practice class because we are going to watch the PowerPoint presentation is very short. We are going to watch the video. Do you remember that I sent you a message to check from the platform 5.9? Yes? Okay, we are, I am going to show to you right now the video. We are going to watch the video from the platform, from the English Corporativo platform. And then we are going to work with it, okay? So let me share with you right now because we are going to use it for a small practice. Okay, let's see. Remember, you can find this in English Corporativo. Uh, this is the five one. Let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, let me see something happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad. I made a mistake. Perdón, cometí un error. Okay, this is it. Okay. So let's listen to it. Tell me if you have problems listening, okay? Right now it's loading. I don't know why it's taking long. It started raining already. To the past tense now, because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense ask and in this hi everyone in this class you learn to ask and answer wh questions with did was and where additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's get started by listening to a conversation title where did you grow up let's listen and practice so chuck where did you grow up I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... 
Okay. Let's see. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up. Look, this is the verb in past. Grew. It's the past of grow. If you see this question, where did you? If you see, we are using the WH question, the auxiliary did, then the subject, then the verb in the base form, present. Grow up. Here, as the sentence, as the answer is information, because it's asking for the information, the main verb goes in past. I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. Look at the next question. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama, okay? I was an actor for five years after college. When we talk about a major, we are talking about the specialty, the person study, okay? Because it's a college. When we talk about the college, we are, it's almost like saying a uh, university, okay? So I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Mm, ooh. Okay, any question about the vocabulary, guys? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, now, now, now. Let's see. Teacher. Yes, teacher. No? Excuse me. The, the pronunciation about uh, Oh. Grow up is the uh, present. In oh. past? Grew. Oh. Grew. Oh. Grew. 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 Grew up. Grew up. Yeah. Let's listen to the pronunciation again. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, guys. Now, let's see. First practice. You in pairs, practice the conversation, then we come here and I'm going to choose two pairs of you to pronounce it for the rest of the class, okay? You listen to it, no? You listen to the recording, yes? Okay, perfect. So let's, let's do it right now. I'm going to divide the groups. Let's see, I am creating, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, oh, four groups. And let's do it right now. Jump in, guys. Eh, no, no, yo no la tengo, pero no sé si puedo compartirla. Espérame, ¿la ¿cómo se llama? Ah, sí, ajá, que para compartir. Teacher, lo que no tenemos en la conversación, ¿cómo podemos hacer para ver? ¿Vaya? Si la puedes, sí. Ah, ahí está. Ahí está. Wow. Ay. Thank you. Good, guys. You're very good. <laughs> Thank you. Bueno. Um, Bye. Eh, I am Melissa. So, shoot. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you become a uh, hairstyle? Because I need them. Oh, okay. Hairstylist. 
because I need the money and I love it. No, no, no. Okay, I cannot even imagine how nice working as a hairstylist. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot imagine the, I'm sorry. It's an interesting job. Yeah. Delicated, actually. I prefer barber. Yeah, that's, that's very good. Very delicate because, I mean, you messed up, you're in trouble. I use the machine. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Practice once more. Okay. 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 I am Melissa and you Chuck. Yes. So, uh, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Oh, and when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what? Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you become hair style, hair stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what did you think? Well, uh... Hello, Rubidia. Rubidia, good evening. Hmm, perhaps he's having problems. Let's see, Francisco, you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Who was your partner, Francisco? Uh, Hilda. Hilda, okay. I want to listen to you guys. <coughs> Okay. Okay, teacher. Star uh, Francisco? Yes, sí. Are yes. you ready? Okay. Yes. So, Chuck, so, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 99. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, what did you become hair hairstylist? Hairs, because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... Okay, perfect. Very well done. Remember, 1990. Hi. Okay, teacher, 1990. Teacher, about the, the hair, hair stylist. Hold on, hold on, I'll get there, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, college, hair stylist. And what do you think, think, like with Z, think, okay? What do you think? Perfect. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you very much, guys. Let's see. Uh, Adonai, please. Yes, teacher. You and your partner. Uh, Roxana. Okay. Okay, Roxana, let's start. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for the five years after the college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm. Hey, very well done, guys. Remember, needle. Needle, because I needed the money, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, no, thanks to you guys. Well done, well done, excellent. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. 
You and your partner, please. Eh, Yanari eh, and Marina, creo que. Vanessa. Ah, Vanessa, perdón. Vanessa. Yanari y Vanessa. Okay, so Silvia and Yanari, please. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I, I have a problem with the platform. No, I no, no tengo el artículo. Okay, let's see. Don't worry, don't worry. Just let me check something and I'm going to project it right here for you. Okie dokie. Just give me a second. I'm going to project it right now. Okay, can you watch it now? Uh, not it's charging. It's charging. It? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, okay, let's do it then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, so, 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 where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when, and when did, did you come, you come, come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Major. Major. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, ooh. okay, thank you, thank you, very well done, well done, well done. Let's see, uh, Vicky, what's your part? Okay, partner? teacher, Angelica. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas, I was born there, too. Okay. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your ma major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Voila. Okay, perfect. Remember, major, major. Okay. Hair okay. stylist. Needle, needle. I need the money. Need okay. Perfect. Let's okay, see. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. So let's see, Mr. Carlos Cruz. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. George Rock. And Vanessa is Melissa. Welcome, Carlos. Okay, I am Melissa. So, Shuk, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. In Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 19, 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... Okay, perfect. Remember, major, 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 major. Major. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair, 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 hair stylist. Okay. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Well done. Well done, well done, perfect. So now let's jump to the next activity. We have a lot to cover today. Any question about the pronunciation, about the conversation? No? Okay, perfect. So let's see, oops, we were in the same screen. Now let's uh, listen. 
Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Okay, let's see. Any question about this? Remember, we have the WH question, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb in the base form. Why? Because we have the auxiliary deal. Remember, if we have the auxiliary, the verb goes in the base form. Now, in the answer, remember, as these are WH questions, these are information questions. So the answer is information, but the information is in the past. So the main verb as it is an affirmative sentence, goes in the past. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Now, in this case, is the verb be, was, and where. Okay, how old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Question, guys? Any question? No? Okay, let's no, go. No, teacher. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, where did you grow up? Es como donde creciste. Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that we need to add the subject, you. Next we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement towards the right hand side of this chart you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? 
first we need to add the wh word what then we need to add was or where after that we include the subject your major finally we need to add a compliment and a question mark at the end in college now it's your turn to practice making okay let's see any question about the explanation it was very clear no so if you notice what we have there is the structuring of the two type of questions with the verb be and with the verb be remember the verb be its own rules the rest of the verbs all the universe all the universe of different verbs they need the deed as an auxiliary okay that's always all the time but now we are going to do something different because i have also prepared something for you let's see come on come on come on okay guys today we are in class 15. See what happened here. Perfect. Now, let's check it out. WH questions. Okay. We remember that what means que o cual, no? Okay, look at this question. What did you do today in the morning? If you notice, we have the deal. The WH question, as I told you, they go before any structure, okay? What did you do today in the morning? So let's see, Carlos, tell me, what did you do today in the morning? I worked in the morning. Okay, perfect, Carlos, just remember, when we have a verb that ends in the pronunciation of the ED is as a T. I worked. I worked okay. in the morning. Okay? okay? Perfect. Thank you. Now, we have where. You know that where means donde. Remember, these are WH questions. They ask for information. They are also known as information questions. Okay? Look at this example. Where did you study high school? Let's see, Hilda, tell me, where did you study high school? Teacher, I have the problem with my, my, my song, uh, video, audio. Uh, where did you study high, high school? Yes, high school. Okay, I was studying in Eucaristico. Okay. I studied, remember the verb in past. And, it's, right. and I'm asking, you don't need the was. You only the verb only, in past. Yes. Only, only answer when you did you study high, high school. Okay, remember, okay. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. The question is, where did you study high school? So the verb is this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that was and where is a whole different story, okay? Okay. The correct is I studied. Perfect. In, in Eucaristico. Excellent. That's right. That's the correct answer. Thank you very much, Hilda. Okay. Now, when? This is cuando. Look, when did you finish high school? Vanessa, tell me, when did you finish high school? Uh, I finished high school in <laughs> you don't remember <laughs> no in 90 98 okay 19 19 98 okay perfect excellent so if you see this is very simple now we have how? Okay. How did you get 
home today? Let's see, let's see who's going to answer this question. Uh, Adonai, how did you get home today? Do you understand the question, Adonai? Yeah, so, so. If I ask you, how did you get home today? I'm asking you, did you drive your car? Did you go by bus? Did you take an Uber? How did you get home today? I drove my car. Perfect, excellent. So you see, it's very simple now. What did you do today in the morning? Where did you study high school? When did you finish high school? And how did you get home today? You get all these questions, guys? Tenemos todas esas preguntas? Because we are going to practice right now. We are going to ask these four questions to our classmates, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Them? Las tenemos? Yes. Yes. Teacher, oh, yes? Uh, I don't understand the how did you get home today? Okay. What's okay. the meaning? Yes. Ah, okay. By car, by bus, by ah, okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys, ready? Ready. Let's do the exercise now. Let's see. You are going to work with somebody else. So I'm going to recreate all the sections. Let me see. Yeah, got oh okay, let's do it. Jump in. Get in the groups, please. Oh Rubidia, you have problems with the internet. I'm going to change somebody. I'm going to move. Uh -huh. Hello, ladies. Rubidia, pero... Rubidia is having problems with internet. Uh. Okay, but let's do the exercise. Tell me, Angelica. Uh, let's see, the first question was, what did you do today in the morning? I... I work... I work uh, at home. Okay, perfect. Tell me, where did you study high school? Espera, me teacher. Voy a ver si puedo encender. Teacher. Yes. Me oye. Ya me. I can hear you. Okay, espera. Que me cuesta, ah, ya. <laughs> well, okay. Where did you study high school, Angelica? Ah, uh, when did you come? Ah, I study high school. I study a uh, Colegio La Esperanza. Okay, perfect. Tell me, when did you finish high school? <laughs> I don't remember this. I. I still. I finished high school. I I. No sé cómo se dice. Tell me the year. I will help. Mil. Ah. Tell me. Mil. Lo ver. Mil novecientos noventa y cuatro. Okay. Nineteen ninety four. 1994. Yes. Okay, you say, I finished high school in 1994. I finished high school 1994. Okay, in my case, I finished high school, I finished the third year of high school in 1996. Okay. Okay, so you see, it's easy, it's easy. The last question. And how did you get home today? I get home. 
I got home. I got home in my car. By car or in my car, it's okay. Yes. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I, I repeat, teacher. I got, me dijo, or it was I get. No, in past. Ah, okay, el pasado, I got. I take. Ah, uh, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, I need a uh, uh, help me uh, question three. Um, Question number three. Question number three is mm -hmm. did you finish high school? Uh -huh. What is um dos mil tres? Two thousand and three. Ah, two thousand and three. At least you don't divide it. You don't say and twenty. You can say twenty o three. Okay. Thank you, teacher. We don't say twenty zero three. We say twenty o three. Twenty o three. Okay. We are Thank saying. You, teacher dates or something, instead of saying zero, the zero we pronounce it as O. Uh, instead of O, okay? O, okay. Three. Or you three. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, it's time. Finish. Okay. Uh, I take a, a transporte, como podría decir, transporte del... De, Company, company transportation. I'll take company. Okay, okay. I could, I could see that you were doing the exercise. That's excellent. Now, let's practice a little bit more. Let's check out another exercise. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hit something that wasn't right. Let's share right this. Let me optimize. And there we are. Okay. These are the questions that we just did. Now, look at these ones. These are with the verb B. There's the difference. Look. What was your favorite subject? Okay, let's see, let's see. Francisco, tell me, what was your favorite subject? Oh, uh, my favorite subject? Uh, math. Was math. Was math, yes. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now we got where, where, let's see. Where was your school located, Silvia? Hello. Where was you? Donde estaba? Uh, Where is school located? In San Salvador, in Santa Tecla. In I was, I it was, was it you was, was, you was. Uh -uh. Um, listen, listen, listen. It, because we are talking about the school. Uh, okay. It was located. It was located uh, in Mexicano. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, look at the next one. When? When was your high school graduation? Okay. When was your high school graduation, Vanessa? Uh, I was... It was... It was in... 1998. Perfect, excellent. Now let's see, how, how was it? Let's see, uh, Mr. Cruz, how was your graduation, your high school graduation? A big party? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> was? Yes, it was a big party in Sheraton Presidente. Oh, wow, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. So if you can see, this is very simple. Remember, if the question includes the auxiliary did, it means that we answer with a verb in past. If the question includes was or were, that means that we answer that question using 
the verb be, was, or were, okay? Now, let's see, let me check out, uh, because we needed to do something, a little bit something before we finish. Because, believe it or not, time's flown. Sí. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice 2001? 2001. Or 2001. 2001. Okay. Remember that when we are saying numbers, we don't say zero. Instead of zero, we say like the letter O. 2001. Or you can say 2001, but zero. You use it for math. When we are talking mathematics, you say zero. Okay? But when we are saying dates, we can say O. Oh. Do you understand that? Entendemos eso? Yes, teacher. Bueno, yes. Matica yes. utilizamos zero. Pero cuando estamos diciendo fechas o números de teléfono, por ejemplo, we use O. Oh. Okay? Now, let's check out a little bit of vocabulary that I need to cover with you. Let me share with you. And we are going to share it fast. And we don't need to listen to this. So we are going to go faster. Oh man, I forgot the second, let's see. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes, history, math, Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. High. Junior high. Places. Classroom. Gym. Lunchroom. Playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple... Okay. Actually, what I want to do is focus more in the, in the vocabulary. Okay, we know what is a classroom. Remember, college is like saying university. Okay? Place. And we have... Uh, okay, perfect. And we have elementary. Elementary school is... First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay, let me see. When we talk about elementary school, we are talking about first grade, second, third, fourth, fifth. That's elementary school. Okay. Then we have junior high. Junior high is six, seven, eight. Then we have high school. High school is 9, 10, and 11. Okay? Any question? No? Perfect. Now, let's see. We also have uh, the subjects from the school. Remember, we listen it to math, history, Science, those are language. Those are school subjects. Thank you, Janari. Now, let's see. Adonai, what was your favorite subject at school? Tell me. My favorite subject? Yes. Math. Okay. Remember, my favorite subject was... Was math. My favorite okay. subject was math. Excellent, great. Now let's see, Janari. What was, me, what was your favorite subject in high school? Tell me. It, my favorite subject was uh, math. math. Oh, yes, good. yes, math, and I have uh, mechanographia. How can I say mechanographia? Yes, 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 teacher. Oh, excellent, excellent. Vanessa, what about you? What was your favorite subject? 
Uh, my favorite subject was science. Okay. Your science? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Okay, sure. Thank you. Now let's see, Hilda, what about you? What was your favorite subject at school? My favorite subject was math. Math? Yes. Okay, remember, the full word is mathematics, but we can yes. pronounce it just math. Okay? Math. Yes. Okay, guys. Any question about the class? No teacher. Okay, let's see. We are at one minute finish. And because a lot of people connected before, so we have covered one hour. But let's remember. Let's I'm sorry. Try not to forget. If the question is with the auxiliary did, that means that is simple past. And that the in the answer. The verb, if it's a long answer, the verb is in past. If it's a short answer, remember, yes, I did, no, I didn't. If the question is with the verb be, with was or where, the answer always includes was or where, okay? Remember guys, please, the ones who haven't finished, let's check the platform, let's try to finish it. And remember, we have class tomorrow, okay? It's our final class, and I have something good prepared for you. So okay. I expect you here in class tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Bye -bye. Okay, Thank teacher. you. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.